I will. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. We look at the ability of a joint to close or extend on one side. So we did our exam and we had problems with extension, we had problems with right side bending. Now we're gonna go in and kind of see, can we figure out where that, if there's a kind of, try to localize it to the segment where we feel it may not be moving well. What we can do is we can have Mike is gonna sit up nice and tall. And then what I would do is you're gonna take your arm, we're gonna switch sides here, Donna, sorry. And you're gonna take your arm, put it over here. And you're gonna go into extension, okay? You're gonna side bend towards me and then rotate. So what I can do now is I can come through and I could take that spinous process and I could try to push it that way to get rotation to the right. I could go on the other side and push it around a circle, see if we get rotation to the right. Well, my third option is I can be on this joint and I could go towards extension, try to close that joint. So come back up. As we go through it, so we went through extension. Again, we'll do it from this angle, come up nice and tall, bend over to your right. You wanna see, does it rotate to the right? Does the spinous process rotate? Or can he close that joint? Come back up. So let's say we found Mike has trouble with a closing problem or extension on one side, we localized it. The best thing to do, we could just do a technique and try to close it, but it might be a little bit annoying so we can do first is we could just gap it first. Gapping would be in this position, we're in neutral. We would side bend it to the up opposite side and we can do a little bit of rotation. And that'll help gap it, kind of open it up before we try to close it. So I can do contract, relax. So gently tilt over to this direction. Okay, so I'm holding them there and relax. Right, and then once we do that, we come back up and we can do the same thing as we come over. We go through here. And I could say, okay, sit up nice and tall, bend over towards me, rotate, and I can feel it get stiff in that direction, and I could just do contract and relax like that. So I might gently try to turn to this direction, turn to your left, real light, and you can feel the muscle start to contract, and then come back up. We could do multiple like that, and we could mobilize it. And for homework, we can teach Mike how to self-do that, how to re-educate that. So Mike, put your arm to your side, now he's at more of an extension. You're gonna bend your elbow, and you're gonna rotate towards that direction, and then, then straighten your elbow. So once he's in that position, he's extended, rotated, and he's gonna do his own mobilization, come back up. If he can reach across, he might be able to feel a little bit, and want motion to that spot, so that, and this kind of feel it, straighten your elbow, and bend it, straighten your elbow. So it's good to do 30 repetitions, have him do it a couple times during the day, and then he'll try to, and we'll retest to see he has the ability to extend through that segment. This more works best for people who have more myofascial, local, we might call it positional deficits. Okay, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.